Hey folks, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. Today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on the Anchor Solix F2600. This is a portable power station that means business. You can power everything from your RV to your refrigerator and even your smartphone and tablets. Is this something you need? Well, sit back, we're gonna find out. So when you take a quick look at the Solex, you'll notice that there is a display right on the front. You also have a variety of different charging ports and this uh, light on the front where you can have different types of intensities. Great for when it's nighttime and you need to see. It also has this really unique retractable handle that you can pull out and then move the Solex F2600 like it was a piece of luggage. And I love this feature because it makes it really simple and easy to get into place. It's very, very heavy. You have to remember, there's a lot of battery power inside of this. So that makes it incredibly convenient. When you're done, you can you know, push the handle right back inside and in place. Now, I'm gonna be hooking this up with the Anchor Solix PS400 foldable solar panel. This thing is massive. This is the first time I just unboxed it. So you're looking at it for the first time as I'm getting a, my initial impressions. And I was like, wow, this thing is massive. In optimal conditions, you can get 400 watts of power through this solar panel. So this one is actually meant to go with the Solix F2600. It is a big, big, you know, powerful solar panel. And this is what it looks like once you have everything set up. What you'll notice is that you do have those handles on the side over there. But what makes this really unique is how it looks on the back because you have different angles that you can get to with the kickstand to get the optimal sunlight conditions. So three different angles there you can see that you can um, adjust it to. And here are the connections where you're gonna connect the cables from the solar panel to the power station. Again, it even tells you on the different angles of what it should look like on the horizon of the sun and which one you should put it on to get the optimal amount. Because like I said, in perfect conditions, you can get 400 watts of power, which is pretty remarkable to when you think about it from the sun. Um, something that you definitely want to check. Unfortunately, it was a cloudy day when I was testing this out. So I really wasn't expecting much. I was hoping I would get some kind of power, but what can you expect when it's overcast? However, Anchor says these Solex solar panels can work in cloudy conditions. But just from my experiences trying this, I can tell you wholeheartedly, it probably is generating some power, but not enough. Not to even enough to make a significant difference. You definitely want to get that sunlight. But the connection was super easy. Now it's time to test it out with a bunch of different types of appliances. I got this vintage Panasonic blender that I'm gonna be testing it out with. I also have this electric grill that I use all the time. Be nice to take that camping, cook some bacon. And also I got a blow dryer because wouldn't it be nice to blow dry your hair while you're camping? It's kind of like glamping. I would call it more smart camping. Also got a Bluetooth speaker, a fitness tracker, and some wireless earbuds. And I'm going to test it all in conjunction with the Anchor Solix app, which will tell you a live reading of the output. And over there you can see 72 watts goes down to 66. Then I crank it up all the way up to about 140 watts. So as expected, you know, with this device, it can do a maximum of 2,400 watts and it has about 2,500 watt hours. So I was expecting all three of these devices to work, not a problem. Look at this, 1,182 watts, not a problem because as I said, this can do a max of 2,500 watts. But what I was really interested in doing is what happens when you put two devices at the same time? So I got the electric grill and the blender on. We're hitting up around say 1248 watts. You know, with 2500, I could probably put some more devices at the same time. Probably not the blow dryer though, because the blow dryer uh, takes a lot of power. Just to show you how much power it takes. I do have now the electric grill still powered on. I got the blow dryer on at max. Now we're at what? 2,500 watts. So we're pretty much hitting the, the top end of what this can do. And it's still powering it at the same time. Like that's pretty impressive because this says the total watts was 2,400 with 25 watt hours, 2,500 watt hours. So I have to say, I did not expect 
to have both the blow dryer and that electric grill powered on at the same time. But the proof's in the pudding, folks. Look, it's still on. That grill is still on. And now it's gone down to 2200. So yeah, it was hitting the upper end. But that is very, very impressive. You could blow dry your hair and make bacon at the same time on a camping site. What a time to be alive, folks. That is pretty cool. So the Anchor app is a really good indication of how much power that you could use with the Solix F2600. If you're looking for that ultimate backup battery power to charge different devices, anything from an RV, this is something you definitely want to check out. Again, if you are in the market for a portable power station and you want something that has a lot of power, definitely check this out. It's the Anchor Solix F2600 portable power station. And if you want endless 400 watts of power in ideal optimal conditions, you can also check out the Anchor Solex PS400 foldable solar panel. Together, they make a great team. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. Don't forget the links in the description below. See you again next time.